Coimbatore, India. My connection to this story and this place is unique. My grandfather was born here, and now I'm visiting for the first time nearly eight decades later. Like many places in the subcontinent, it's a city exploring the boundaries of old and new, but one community in particular is pushing through a complex past and looking towards a transforming future. They are Hydra, India's ancient transgender community. We've only just arrived, but my team and I have been invited to a unique celebration. This is a ceremony of rebirth, a moment of transformation. It's a welcome into womanhood and a community of like-minded souls. For one, this party marks the very first time to dress in sari, a badge of honor and symbol of femininity for nearly all Indian women. அதாவது லைஃப்பில் அதை வந்து ரொம்ப சாதிச்சா ஒருத்த இப்போ என்ன நினைக்கிறானா அதை விட தௌசண்ட் தடவை வந்து அதை விட அதுக்கு மீறி சந்தோஷப்படுறோம் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாக இருக்கு முதல் புடவை கட்டும் போது பெண்ணாக உணர்ந்தேன் ஹீட்ரிகனைஸ்டர் They began their lives as one gender, but have physically transitioned to another. Dana is one of the estimated 2 million Hijra in India. You look so lovely. This color is amazing on you. Hijra means something different. I was born a man, now I'm a woman. I did a sex change, so I'm a transsexual woman. I feel proud to be a transgender. I don't think there's something abnormal in me. In India, Hijra have a recorded history of more than 4,000 years. Royal courts held them in high regard, and sacred Hindu texts described them in bright sari and delicate jewelry, bestowing them with special powers to bring luck and fertility. The Hijras are considered to be an incarnation, another form of Lord Krishna, Lord Shiva and Lord Shakti. So every new thing that happens, a transgender is there. These revered Hijra traditions do continue, and some of Dana's friends have invited us to see the Hijra offer a blessing. A newly married couple goes first to a transgender, get their blessings and start their life. A newborn baby is first given to a transgender and the baby is being blessed. The community of women greet our arrival and have put on their nicest saris for the occasion. I can't wait to see it all. They do some rituals to bless the child. At first, the baby isn't as welcoming to his new guest. But soon he is mesmerized by the magical dance and song of the Hijra deities. Good fortune has arrived. May God bless the child and let the child live for 100 years healthy. Oh, okay. yeah. Though despite their special place in Indian culture and history, Hijra have been pushed to the fringes and have not received the same civil rights as men and women. The minute the family realizes that this person is not of a regular gender, they probably beg that human being, please leave. Because it brings shame yeah, on the family. Shame on the family. And when you don't have education, you can't work. That's the reason they're involved in heavy sex trade, heavy prostitution. Rejected by their families and society, many turn to prostitution and begging as their only means to survive. They're refused jobs, ostracized, criminalized, and even sexually assaulted on the street. நான் பையன் இல்லை பொண்ணு அப்படின்னு சொல்லி பொண்ணு ஆனதுக்கப்புறம் எல்லாருமே என்ன பாசமாக பார்க்கல என் ஃபேமிலி கவர்மெண்ட் அண்ட் சொசைட்டி யாருமே எங்களை வந்து ஏற்றுக்கிறது இல்லை ஐ நவர் யூஸ் டு பிஹேவ் லைக் அ காய் ஐ யூஸ் டு ஹெல்ப் மை மாம் இந்த கிச்சன் ஹெல்ப் ஹர் இன் குக்கிங் டிட் யூ ஃபீல் கம்ஃபர்டபுள் டோக்கிங் டு யுவர் ஃபேமிலி அபவுட் தி வே தட் யூ ஃபீல் வெல் தேர் இன் எக்ஸ்செப்ட் மீ தே வாண்ட் மீ ஆஸ் அ சன் ஆர் அஸ் அ டாக்டர் இட்ஸ் பீன் நவ் சிக்ஸ் இயர்ஸ் I'm out of my family altogether. I was really scared, but I had no choice. How did you find your courage? The passion to become a female yeah. made my mind strong. 
Dana is now trying to put the past behind her and embracing her new identity. She invited me to stop by her local garment shop where the choice of fabric allows women to create their look from a variety of colors and textures. I was well on the white t-shirt, yeah? Yeah. The history of the sari is traced back thousands of years to the western part of India. The word sari is Sanskrit for strip of cloth. There seems to be a lot of material. Who taught you how to do this? I learned when I saw when my mom is sleeping. Oh, so she didn't actually show you, you just paid attention. Yes. We're tucking and draping everything around the underskirt. Yeah. The garment measures an impressive 15 to 18 feet long, though there are many recorded ways to drape it. It's a simple foundation, but for Dana, a sari was essential to realizing her true self. When did you finally put your first sari on? After the sex change. How did you feel when you saw yourself? I felt I've done what I was aspiring for. Really? Yeah. I burst out in tears. Oh, it's beginning to take shape. Before, yeah, I, I would be laughed at. I would be laughed at. Now that you get to wear a sari, you have your own sense of style, who Dana really is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, wow. 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 Wow our identity and something as simple as this sari has been denied to them. These women are so courageous. It might just be a piece of clothing to some, but to a special group of people, it's an identity, a victory, a new beginning. I feel very happy because I've undergone so many pain in my life to become like this. When we are with a community, I feel at home. Thanks for watching Style Out There. Subscribe now for more stylish adventures.